uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Ooh. YouTube, Ooh, Facebook, okay. Instagram. The only one is because TikTok doesn't have that on StreamYard yet. I know, right? Yeah, this way we get to do it and we just see the comments from all the different platforms on here. But oh, that's we're, awesome. We're not individually on it. Well, I mean, we're individually, the videos on every platform, um, but we can do this all with us looking at each other. So, okay. you know, that's awesome. all the fun things. So, yeah. This is what we'll do our podcast on too. When we do it, we'll use this. Um, and I have microphones for everybody so that people can hear us clearly. So mine, mine better have a Sasquatch foot on it. It might. I have a Sasquatch sticker that I might just put on it before I send it to you. That and works. Too. <laughs> I'll just like find a hooker and stick a picture on her microphone. And there you have it. Hello. Oh, Toby motherfucking Jenkins. Hi, Hello. Toby. Yes. Toby, um, you know, we need helpers for the tarot class if you want to help with the tarot stuff because we need warm bodies. Hi, Cindy. And and yeah, we need warm bodies to help to help talk to people. How are you seeing everybody come in? Am I just special and no, I can't see? Are anything? you looking over to the right? So it looks over like hi right. to all you guys signing in. Um, so do you see like there's a stream on the side? And, and then right before it, too, you can look and see what platform they're on. So there's like a Facebook, uh, there's YouTube watching. Hi, you guys. Um, all, all the different ones. So we'll eventually. Oh, it says next to their name. It has yeah. a little icon of, because yeah. I logged in via YouTube and other people have faith. That's so cool. Yeah. That's what that's why I said when we do our podcast, we'll use this because this is awesome for that kind of stuff. And, and you can be anywhere. Like they don't have to be a YouTube. They could be Facebook. They could be Instagram. So, and that helps with, um, and then when we do our podcast, then she can chop it up off here. And I'll probably ask Allie to do that at some point. Hello, you guys. Thanks for signing on. We'll kind of, we'll start and stuff here in just a little bit. Um, we'll just kind of keep talking until more people sign on. <laughs> um, but you guys have your special tarot cards? Um, what yeah, I just grabbed a deck. I still can't well, find it. Well, I've got like 20 decks right here. Yes, I've got special tarot cards. I have many tarot cards. Wait, what do you mean you couldn't find one? Like, a I, I still, no, no, no. I've got a deck with me. I just, uh, I can't seem to find because I guess I'm, spe I don't know. The, the struggle is real. Was I supposed to share this to my thing too? Like, this thing is saying, like, log in. I'm through my phone. So I don't know if this is. Oh, I think I it up. should be set up. And I know Stephanie is listening, so she will help us if we're doing anything wrong. <laughs> hey, Sierra, what I did, it I went over to the comments and it prompted me to to add like I went to the comments and and it prompted me to join with my YouTube. So oh. I just kind of went with what the prompting, just kind of see what it does. Okay, um, so for the responding, okay. yeah. Go to, yeah, go to comments and then that way you can you can respond to people. Because all I have signing in. All I have is chat and then comments. Okay, let me go to the comments. Okay, join the chat, maybe. Hey, yeah, yes, do, that, do that. And oh, then it's it'll connected through my YouTube as well. Oh, okay. What's up? <laughs> okay, okay. It's also connected to your Facebook and stuff too. Oh, okay, exactly. very cool. And your Instagram. It should populate on there. Um, although I haven't seen any Insta little things, but that one's set up a little differently. Stephanie had to put in like a, a, a key to do it. So I'm sure she's working on that right now. Um, yep. There you go. Hi. I don't see it showing up on your page, Sarah. Oh, okay. I'm trying oh. to get it to do that now. Sorry guys. I'm a hot minute it's behind. <laughs> it's whatever. It's all right. This These people the have to listen to us talk for an hour. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right. Oh shoot. I had like three different emails. Which ones did I use? Um, continue, maybe that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Marie. We'll get started here in just a little bit, guys. We're just trying to figure our lives out. Yeah, so. sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like what? Just three minutes. We'll get it all figured out. <laughs> 
Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right, wasn't that email? Sweet Jesus. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's try that one. It's not on my page either, but I'm just sharing it from your page onto my page, and we'll figure out how to do it next time. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's just what I did, because I don't know what the fuck. Oh, am I... <laughs> I think if anybody is tuning in and they know any one of us, they know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That was fully expected. Okay. At Fair least enough. 78 times by each of us throughout <laughs> the next hour. So if, sorry, ladies, if any of you, if it hurts your ears for us to talk shit, sorry, my apologies in advance, but we'll be dropping the F-bombs. So, oh, Sarah. Okay. I think it did it. You did it? It went through my YouTube. Is it going on my Facebook? It's, I don't know if it's on your face. It might be on your YouTube. Okay. Yeah, it's probably wow. going through my YouTube then. Caitlin said, if I don't hear swear words, I'm going to be really upset. Fair enough, girl. Fair enough. Right. <laughs> You'll okay. hear all the swear words. All of them. Promise. I, I was raised in the South, and I still have that, that oh, Lord, my grandma's going to whip my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I think I started oh. saying at three years old. So right. I'm sure it's the one consistent behavior. <laughs> that I've had that and talking too fucking much. I talk too much that as well, but whatever. It's a gift. Um, so right. I, up, I was telling someone the other day, I'm like, basically I sit there for eight hours a day and talk and tell people not to talk. And I just sit there and rattle away. And then at the end of the day, I still have just as much to say. I think, that's probably not good for anybody. <laughs> no, I think it's fun. I always got something to say. You're good that's conversationalist. You that you're a Gemini without saying that you're a Gemini. Yes, yeah. that is. How do you really hear? <laughs> this is it. Right? Uh, for you guys tuning in, look at my heart t-shirt. Or no, it's not a t-shirt. It's a sweatshirt. But I love it because it's pink. So, okay. So we got people signed on. Hi, you guys. Um, Hi, guys. We will comment. We will talk. Um Stephanie is upstairs moderating, um, but we thought that tonight it would be really cool to just kind of, because we're doing a tarot class, um, the tarot class that's like every uh, weekend in April on Sunday, um, and it's a really cool class, and it's the three of us teaching together. So if you ever wanted to learn tarot by three crazy women who are awesome, but slightly <laughs> a little... Uh, that that's us. So we thought we would let you experience us together as a group um, and see what you think about that. But we'll also <laughs> be meetings and stuff um, as well. So uh, Facebook too, Sarah. Toby said it looks like it's on your Facebook too. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Cool. And Thanks, then, Toby. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Toby. And anyone who sees Toby Jenkins in the comments, her name is Toby motherfucking Jenkins. So yep. you have to say it correctly or she won't know that you're talking to her. True. You can also identify her as TMFJ. That is her other special name. You know what? I have my CO2 license plate, Toby. You should get a TMFJ plate. Ooh, oh, yeah. She <laughs> yeah, she should. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get it for her. No, I can't because I don't live in her state. So <laughs> that won't work. Um, <laughs> Anyway, all right. So we're just going to talk a little bit about tarot. Where I'll probably do some readings. Um, if any of you guys are interested in letting us read you a three-way read from all of us, um, I think that. Um, oh, she said when she moves home. Whoop! Oh, oh my God! And she makes the best cookie dough ever. That's how she got that name. She does make some good cookie dough. That was, yeah. Brian had her cookies and he goes, Toby Jenkins. She calls herself Toby motherfucking Jenkins. And that was <laughs> because of her cookie dough. And I will leave it at that. So, um, all right, you guys. Oh, <laughs> Darity said dream come true. I remember you, my dear. I know I've seen you multiple times and I love your name. So, Hello, all of you guys. Uh, all right. So do any of you guys want to be like, do I, well, you know what? We should ask first. Does anybody have any questions? Hi, right. guys. Hi, guys. Okay. What? I was just saying hi, guys, to everybody. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's because I talk too much. That is why. 
Of course, I was the first one to start talking. Of course. So anyway, um, do you guys have any questions? Anything you want to know about our magical tarot trio class? And we were talking last night, or I was talking last night. <laughs> that may had to agree with me. Um, for us to all do a podcast at some point, I think that should be pretty interesting. So, what'd she say? What'd you say, Toby motherfucking Jenkins? Oh, I had to Caitlin, it's for all. It's for all levels. Yes, yeah. you can. Even, we've got beginner to advanced, intermediate, and everything in between. We can hit all levels. Oh yeah. Yeah, and we'll also be like. The class is structured so for any of you guys that are kind of like new to this, um, all the decks are based off the Rider Weight deck. So we're just using those decks, but um, anybody can join, basically. You can talk, Sarah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're fine. I, I saw Bindi said, how did you all meet each other? I, I like to think that it was kismet. <laughs> yes. I actually, okay. I uh, actually met Kim first through a class that we did together um around our psychic mediumship and it was a blast it was a really good time and kim i think if i remember correctly uh you actually pulled through one of my friends that had passed away and then after the class i came up to her and i was like you're gonna be a star and now we're friends and you can't ever escape me <laughs> so that's how kim and i met and then i met jen through kim i believe mm -hmm. is that right jen yeah that, that's how we met okay um mm -hmm. And I met Kim. Um, I had a friend of mine that um, drug me to a class because I didn't even know what classes were. Or I didn't know you could take classes for this stuff. I just thought I was weird. And um, she took me to a weekend long class with Kim. And Kim was telling me all kinds of stuff right off the bat. She's like, you got dead people just waiting to talk to you, lady. When are you going to answer them? And I was like, <laughs> what the fuck is this lady talking about? And that's how our friendship started. And then, yeah, I eventually met Sarah through Kim. And we are just three peas in a pod, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> three crazy motherfucking peas in a pod. Yeah, that was for sure. I three met... psychedelic peas, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. That works. Psychedelic peas. When Christ. I met Sarah. I a name. <laughs> and talked to her dead people. We're in a room of like, what, like there were like 50 people there or whatever. And yeah. so we're doing like this little demonstration because we're both taking the class and whatever. And I started telling her about this guy and she was in the back of the audience and she stood up and I told her stuff and she said, shut up, shut <laughs> up right now. You just shut up. And I was laughing and we were laughing and then I got to meet her and her husband, Chris, and then Sarah and I have had a very interesting friendship journey because I met her in Maine. Then we met again in Philadelphia. Then we met in Denver and Portland and Maryland. We've just been all over the fucking place together. And, yeah. and Jen came to class wearing a t-shirt that said, I hope that your Mercury, what is it? I hope it that says, your may your Mercury be more Freddy and less retrograde. Less retrograde. Yes. And I was like, exactly. And I was just like, you know what? She loves me. Oh, speaking of Freddy, holy shit. I totally didn't even think about it. But look, oh under Lord, the t shirt, your shirt off, people. <laughs> it's that kind of live. <laughs> <laughs> This is not only fans. Oh, you're wearing Queen. And yeah. I'm wearing my Freddie Mercury shirt. We're so fucking nice. Nice. We're, we're calling in it. the spirit of Freddie Mercury for our shenanigans. Mm. He's here right now. He would have played a song. All right. And I identify as a queen. So, I mean, I guess it all, <laughs> it's all working out tonight. Here we have <laughs> it. Here we have it. <laughs> we're, all, we're all queens of the universe. We're all quotus. Um, okay. Wait, wait, let's see whatever. Oh, Mike's mom. Hello. Hi, She's Mike's on mom. here. Hi, Hi everybody Mike's else. Mom. Hi. Um, oh, thank you. See, see, Darity said she'd listen to a podcast from us. Um, all right. <laughs> yes, and Sarah will be coming back to Denver with or without her permission. <laughs> Whether she will she be here in September because I'm having my rebirthday party, which you're all invited to. And we're going fucking roller skating on September 12th. So Sarah is going to be there with or without her consent. And at that time, 
she will be here and we're going to do, you know what, maybe the three of us should do some magical kind of tarot trio event and do readings yeah. and stuff at my office. That so, would be fun. Yeah. The more I do that in person, the more confident I get because I have terrible confidence issues standing up in front of people and doing this work. So the more I do it, the better I get, the more confident I get. So hell to the yeah, yeah, on this yeah. end. Yeah, let's do it yeah. then. Yes, let's do. And so we'll just make some magical shit happen. I don't oh, know yeah. what it will be, but it will be fucking magical. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, uh, all right. Oh, one of you guys said that they were, somebody said, hi, Jen, that knew me and Sarah. All right, let's see, Kim. Hi, I know you are in Colorado. Where is everyone else tonight? Would love a reading. That's Bindi. So hi, Sarah, Bindi. Uh -huh. Sarah's in Maryland. Maryland. Mm -hmm. Where the bridge just collapsed. And yes. Jen is in Denver. Yep. She's not well. Wheat Ridge. She yeah. insists. I'm being at least 20 miles from me at all times. At all times. I think and if she stupid. leaves, then I have to follow her. She doesn't know that I do that, though. <laughs> you did not this last time, okay? <laughs> well, I was I was indisposed the last time. I know. Just like you're like, oh, I was in the hospital. Like, oh, what? I could, I'm <laughs> slack off. <laughs> Aren't I such a wonderful friend? Just like, that's me, the wonderful friend. Um, all right, Jody, we're not, we're, but wait, go sorry. Ahead. Jody's comment cock and balls for everyone. <laughs> I'll take hey, it. Jody. Hey, girl, hey, damn right. <laughs> thank you, Dorit, and thank you so much, Toby. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. The free cock and balls is a, a Easter miracle, so I love it. We're blessed. Um, anyway. All right, so Bindi said she wanted to get a ring. All right, you guys, just FYI, we're not talking to dead people tonight unless something randomly happens. We're kind of focused on the tarot and doing readings that way with the three of us. And we're also kind of for the new ones who signed on, we're also focused on this class that starts um, not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Uh, and it's, it's like six hours the first two weeks on a Sunday and then four the second two weeks. And it covers the entire tarot deck learning it in a way that you can remember it. Um, and it starts off with the uh, Rider Waite deck, which is the date that they're, uh, which is the deck they're all based off of. So if you learn this deck, you know all the tarot decks. There's little nuances. Um, different decks have different nuances, but yeah. ultimately doing it does that. So that's it. So anybody who wants a reading, let's see. Oh, see? Christine can't believe Sarah's not confident. I know I it comes across it like I am, there. but God, I literally, if you guys have ever seen me in person, I am sweating like a hooker in church. <laughs> like, wow. I am shaking. Oh, I am a mess. Bear. She's shaking like Jim in church. I'm a hot mess, man. Like, I don't know. It's just, I'm terrified to be seen and heard and I'm working through it. God bless America. <laughs> oh. But we're getting there. We're getting there. It's just the confidence stuff, you know. There's, I think maybe it's helpful for other people to see that too, especially if you do readings or you've got confidence issues. Like, even though you see me doing this here for a while and it seems like I'm confident, I still, you know, I still battle with that. So just know I'm me human. Me too. Me too. You, you know? know I do. You know yeah, I was in yeah. there bitching at myself in the mirror. These motherfucking makeup in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I'm right there with you. But you look beautiful and. Thank you. Even you though I'm a reader of energy, I don't feel the tremendous nervousness coming off of you. So you're coming across just beautifully. Well, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> you are. You always thanks, are. You, that's all right. It will build over time. It's yeah. just like simple exposure therapy. Just yeah. expose yourself to <laughs> you over and over and over and over again. That's we are not I having exposure therapy with Kim. I'm sorry, but we're not. Yeah, you are. He's going to drag you up in front of a group of people and be like, look at these bitches. They're going to do readings. Remember, I did it to Sarah. I'll do it to you, Jen. People And people are, you guys know, everybody in the audience, like, even though they may be self-conscious about it, they're still both badass bitches. And so. Thanks, Kim. It you are too, madam. You are too. Thank you, Jen. I accept my badassery at this 50th year of life. Right. But before that, not so much. All right. Let's see here. So, 
Um, we are, who wants a reading? Who has questions? Um, everybody wants one. Oh, all right. Everybody wants one. <gasps> that reminds me of that movie, Better Off Dead. You know, oh, Kim, the that's end. a good question from always. Caitlin. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, it's okay. Uh, Caitlin was it. asking, if we do the class, will it be like recorded so they can watch it later? Yeah, we're going to record yep. it. So, so you'll have, cause it's, it's going to be on zoom. So we have the ability to record it and then we can send you guys a link. Um, and it will be the whole class. And also, um, we send you out some stuff, uh, so you can create your own tarot book, um, in learning it and using it and all the homework and stuff. So every week at the end of the class, you'll get an email of the class and you will um, also have all that information and homework assignments kind of sent to you to last you till the next week. So that's how that looks. So, all right. Hi, Chrissy. And hi, Darity. Oh, she's still there. Hi, hi, Jenny. What is wrong with my scrolling thing? Mm. I have a lot of problems. So many problems. Okay. Hi, Shay. Hi, Shay. <laughs> hi, Shay. <laughs> Do I know Shay? I think so. Hi, Shay. Obviously, <laughs> I know you. All right. This is what we will do. How will we choose someone? Do you guys want to choose? Do you want to? We can all take a turn just picking yeah. a random person. Sure. And yeah. Yeah. And we could we could do. I know, Sarah, you do like the pull a card. I could mm -hmm. do like a little reading. Um, for me, you guys, it's probably more important for you not to give me that much information. So yeah. When you you get to me, just give me a topic. But right now, who wants to go first? Meeting Sarah or Jen? Who wants to go? <laughs> well, I'll go first then. That's fine. Okay. And then you pick your person with a topic. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. And then we'll chime in with additional information at the end. And then we'll just do it that way with each of us. So okay. that way we're getting all three of us, but it's starting off as one of us. Okay. Sounds like a good plan. Let's see how it works. Let's see how it rolls. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, Jenny Remack. I don't know, girl. I'm feeling you. All right. I would love a reading from any of you badasses. I hope it's okay. I'm pulling your card, Jenny. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> all right. We're all badasses. Right? Thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. All right. Jenny. Girl, let's talk about it. You got a major arcana card. Talk about major change, major evolution, major movement forward. Miss ma'am, you got the wheel of fucking fortune. Yes. This is a gorgeous fucking card. And so again, listen, whenever these major arcana cards come up, they're kind of bringing us to like an important juncture in our life. What are we doing? Okay. And especially with the wheel of fortune here, there might be a second chance coming around. Maybe there's been like, um, cause it also represents the number 10. Maybe there's a callback here to the month of October. Maybe there's been like a 10 year kind of cycle that's been going on. Are you noticing if something is coming back around here? Also too, I would say with the wheel of fortune, this talks about things being good or bad at any given point. How are you dealing with the energy that's at play in this moment, making it work for you? So I want to stay with the Wheel of Fortune here, girl. If this is around love and relationships. Right now, we might be having like an ex coming back around, uh, for old friends showing up, people wanting to come around and like talk about things, maybe uh, discuss stuff, maybe try a second time. Here with something is like really important. Um, I would say with the Wheel of Fortune, I would give them a chance. Maybe enough time has passed by. Maybe people have been doing the work here. Maybe the wheel is finally turning in, in like our favor is what I want to say. So maybe sit down, listen to what they have to say. Just be careful with Mercury retrograde coming up. You know, it's notorious for old exes coming back around. So if you don't want that, shut it the fuck down. <laughs> okay, but mostly around love and relationship, this is a beautiful indicator. Something, we're getting a second chance. We're getting a second try. Something is coming back around again. Are we noticing the timing of our life and the way things are showing up? This is around our career or work. Again, we might be having a project coming back around. Maybe we're getting a second chance here on something. Are we saying yes to this? Are we open to the opportunity that's showing up again? Also too, are we ready to let go of something so that maybe we can be more available for this thing that is showing up for us? Now, if this is more around our health and our healing, girl, it's just fucking time, <laughs> okay? Anytime the Wheel of Fortune shows up, it's kind of like feeling, and look, if you see this card, the clock is on fucking fire. So we're feeling the time ticking. We're feeling the time moving. Maybe there's a recognition here that we're no longer a spring chicken, okay? <laughs> so get in there, get the mammogram, get the colonoscopy, make sure that we're taking care of ourselves so that we're set up for the future. 
your health is your wealth, right? So sit down and do the work around it. Make sure that we're paying attention to the timing when things are coming up, sitting down and saying yes to ourselves. But no, overall, girl, this is a beautiful indicator that things are finally moving in your favor. Are you ready to say yes to that with a special emphasis around the 10th of a month, these themes coming up here and or I'm looking towards October for these themes to come to a full combination. So hopefully that resonated. I hope that was helpful. It was pretty damn helpful for me as well. So <laughs> I listened to it. I'm like, oh, I need to do some of that shit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I agree with you wholeheartedly. And I think this whole thing about X's coming back and Mercury retrograde, they come back year long. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is a year long Mercury retrograde quality. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I think it needs to stop. That's what I think. So, all right. Uh, let's see. Feedback from Jenny. There we go. Very helpful. Awesome. 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 Uh, all right, Jen, you're the next victim. Okay. Well, um, I was pulled to Shay because she said she hasn't had a reading from me before. So mm -hmm. Shay, do you have like a subject or would you like me to just pull a couple cards and tell you what they say? All right, hold on a second. Love. Oh, oh yeah. What's love got to do? Got <laughs> Y'all didn't know Tina Turner was coming, did you? She's here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Shay needs to know about love. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so. Is that Leo in the background? Yeah, you guys hear him? <laughs> I do. I love that baby Sasquatch. I do too. Yes. That kid is my my heart. <laughs> hey, Leo, you want to come say hi to everybody? Yes, let Leo come say hi. I'm sorry, Jen. I know you're just about to pull a card. Leo. It's okay. Go ahead. I'm, I've got these cards. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Come here. Fix your hair well, man. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Leo. <laughs> hi, Leo. All right, go be good for daddy, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I, okay, he's coming in September as well, and he's coming to my birthday party. Just have oh, yeah. He's invited. Well, Sorry. you guys are besties, so I couldn't um, imagine yeah. you doing your birthday party without him. <laughs> right. Five year old to be my best friend. That's the mental equivalent. So, so and he believes my stories. Say, I pulled a couple of cards for you. We're going to start here with the hanged man. This one's so funny with these crows. This bird's upside down here. But that tells me that maybe your love life has been feeling a little bit on the stagnant side. <laughs> or you feel kind of stuck. Or just it's not moving forward in the way that you would like. And I feel like it may have been like that for a while. It, it, <laughs> maybe since last year. Um, I'm actually feeling like. It's, it's just been a while since there's been some positive movement forward in your love life. However, the Knight of Swords next to that tells me that there is definitely some movement coming. Um, the Knight of Swords is, is um, a card of movement for me. And it indicates that, and actually with these birds, there's a lot of little birds in here. I'm pulled to the symbology of these cards, but, and the horse too. There's, it's like spirit inspired movement forward. So if you're not in the place that you should be, there is somebody that is coming to move your butt out of it. <laughs> and it might even be your own self moving your butt out of it, um, especially after hearing this. Um, <clears throat> but we're not going to stay in that space for forever. I want to say that I am pulled to, let me pull a card for timing here. I would say probably in April, just to be honest with you, things start moving. I pulled um, just for just for timing. I pulled the four of wands, but um, and that always pulls me to April. But it could be the fourth of the month. But I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like sometime in April, especially after this fucking eclipse on the eighth, things are going to start moving. Things are definitely going to start moving. And then as the final card, I pulled the Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely new energy coming in your way. I'm wondering if you, mm, if there's going to be a lot of physical attraction whenever you meet this dude that comes on the scene. 
um, or lady, if it is, um, that's how you're going to know. It's going to be so magnetic. The physical attraction is going to, you're going to wonder, you're going to be like, is this just some kind of physical thing that I'm feeling? No, it's just how it starts. So to me, I am pulled for movement forward in April in your love life. It won't be so stagnant anymore. And when it happens, Shay, it's going to, it absolutely can be someone that's already in your life. I didn't feel one way or the other if it was new or someone returning. Mm, no, I feel like it's someone new. I just pulled the page of pentacles. That's brand new, fresh energy coming in. So to me, that's a different person. Um, I mean, it could be, but that's not the person that I'm talking about. Um, this is someone that's new and they may even be a little bit younger than you. It doesn't necessarily have to be way younger than you, even six months younger than you. But there's going to be intense physical physical attraction, maybe a little bit younger. But when it happens, it's going to happen super fast with that Knight of Swords. So look forward to it. The lots of changes coming. There's another fucking eclipse. Yeah, yeah, girl. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, girl. It's, it's going to be an Aries. Now. What? It's going to be in Aries and it's going to be on the 8th and it's going to be stanky motherfucking Anki. I hope I can cuss because I already, it's too late. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. We've gone too it's, far already. So. Oh my God. This is going to be a solar eclipse. Like this is going to be, it's like a new moon on steroids. So mm -hmm. this Libra eclipse was pushing, make Ooh. bringing to our attention relationships. And this April eclipse is asking us, how are we putting ourselves first? This Libra eclipse was about relationships. This Aries one, how am I putting myself first or taking care of myself? Or am I even adding myself into the equation in terms of relationships? So there's something healing here. Chiron's connected. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be bringing up all kinds of stuff, but it's really fucking good. So how do we sit down and face ourselves, right? A hundred percent. Yes, Shay, now would be the time, a very good time, because that, to, for me, the time period in between the eclipses is a really magical time. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it could be magical in for manifesting. It could just be magical. It's also very kind of confusing and shitty sometimes, too. But <laughs> there's a lot sure. of energy. <laughs> Let's say energetic. That's probably the best word to put. Um, it's a very energetic time. There's lots of abrupt beginnings, abrupt endings, changes. And then we get this big whammy of the of the second equips coming in on the eighth, and then we're dealing with the changes that have happened during this time for the next six months. We're technically still dealing with the shit from the last Taurus Scorpio stuff, the tail end of it, the tail end of it. But this it this energy lasts. These are planets that are moving. It doesn't stop on a dime like that. It takes time for some of this stuff to play out. Yeah, there's a call back to October. So think back to mm -hmm. last October. What the fuck was going down, y'all? Mm -hmm. Is there a part two that just happened here? And if not yet, hold on to your booty flaps, okay? Because <laughs> it's fucking coming. So just reference back to October. What was going on around your relationships? Uh, everything. What was happening here? And how were you how were you also paying attention to yourself and your energy too? Are you ready to move forward? And what the fuck you know you got to do for yourself from this Aries eclipse on the 8th? We got this, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That seems like a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Absolutely. Yes. That just seems like a lot of fucking work that I don't want to do. And so, <laughs> frankly, I'm glad that you guys shared this information with everybody, but I don't feel like dealing with it. And yet, I will have to. Yes. So, that is the way it is, I guess. Yeah. I'm going to cry and be a bitch about it the whole time. I'd be like, universe, fuck you. I love you. Right. Um, okay. That's how I am with my children in my relationships as well. So, okay. Let me see here. Would love to know if my daughter is coming through from the other side. Okay, guys. Um, I'm glad I caught that attention. Uh, I am not necessarily doing readings right now for loved ones. I do have a live coming up that I'll do. Oh, and Jen and Sarah, you guys can do it with me and talk to dead people too. I know you I would can. love to. That'd be really good. You yeah, will, you will be doing it. I love to talk to, to I know where you live. I don't mind driving there. And I really can't them. escape for Sarah. You're in Maryland. I'm up the fucking street, girl. Right. <laughs> know, Sarah, Jen's coming. But Sarah, I have to kidnap you and your husband and your child. It's a lot of work. So you should just come here. That's what I think. That's a lot of um, rope. That's a lot of tape. That's a lot of shovels. It is. 
Well, I won't need the shovels because my car is big enough to just have you guys laying side by side. However, <laughs> you know, you just can't protest too much or the else. Vision in my duct tape over Fair here. enough. <laughs> I'd be a good cat kidnapper. I'd give you snacks. You would. You would. You would. You give you little snacks. snacks and a blankie <laughs> and all those things, but you still have to do what I want. So Fair you enough. have to be heavily medicated if she's driving. Listen, I just had to get that out. I just had to get, I just had to get that out there. You know what? That's fine. You go right ahead and get that out there. <laughs> my new car has 110,000 miles on it. And guess how many accidents I've been in? Three. So that's not a lot. <laughs> you do the math. <laughs> that's that's math. You guys figure the math out on that. It's just my front bumper, y'all. Like, <laughs> like, I have insurance. I can pay the copay, whatever. It's fine. I got insurance. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. That's what car insurance and health insurance is for. Fair so, enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just living my best life over here. But we should do one at some point where we talk to dead people together. It will be like the perfect precursor to our podcast. And I don't know what we'll call it, like Crazy Bitches Unite or something like that. But we'll get a good name for it. All right. So I want to read somebody. Um, so all I want you to do, and I'm not looking at the comments right now, and I also can't really read them. Uh, so if you, if I have to read them, then I have to look up and use the bottom of my bifocal. And you know what? That's not a good look for me. So um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I don't need you seeing my turkey neck. So um, I just need a topic. Uh, any topic. Shush it, you guys. <laughs> Shush it. I told you all that magic about turkeys yesterday. Now you know. <laughs> that, right? So, all right. Who said, who, 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 who? Throw out a topic. You got, oh, oh, there we go. Where did we go? Um, Stephanie Falbo. I don't know who you are. Where did you go? You put work. I'm talking to you, Stephanie Falbo. Um, and it's because my daughter's name is Stephanie. And that is how you were chosen. So. Let me see what's up. I do readings differently than them, um, as many of you may know. And I'm trying not to include any dead people, all right? But if they come, there's nothing I can do about it except for ignore them, but they will, won't leave me alone. So I just want to tell you that. Um, anyway, all right. So Stephanie, we're talking to you. Let's see. Oh, you guys, after I do hers individually, I think the three of us should like swarm onto one person and do it a reading from all of our different perspectives and yeah. totally fucking confuse them and send them to therapy. <laughs> you know, Cause that's the <laughs> life I'm living. Okay. The Oprah of therapies. <laughs> the Oprah of therapies. Ooh, 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 Stephanie. Okay. So um, my cards are a chariot, two of wands, three of wands, or no, two of cups, three of wands. So this is what I think this means. I think that right now you are looking to feel more connected with your job, like more like you love it, like a career, like to be devoted to what you want to do. I feel like you're working right now or you're considering everything right now, but you're not exactly sure, you know, like maybe if you want to move forward or make a career change or something like that, but, but your soul is calling. Something's happening that's like trying to pull you away or pull you onto a different path. And so I feel like when I'm looking at it, because I do use the cards and then, of course, I use my spidey senses as well. Um, but when I'm looking at it and I just pull two other cards, I was like, what is this? What is her energy in this? What is what is she going to do? So I got the two of swords. I got the judgment card and the queen of swords. Basically, what that's telling me is that you just need to speak up and say what it is that you love and what it is that you want to do. And I also kind of get the feeling that maybe not everybody around you approves or or wants you to change, or maybe it's just the people at your work not wanting you to move up or move forward. But I definitely feel like something is calling you in a different direction, um, whether it's at the same job, but you want to move into a different position, whether it's at a different job or a different location, something is tugging at your heart that is making you want to make some kind of change. Um, and that change, whether it's within the framework of what you're already doing or whether you're moving on to something different, I feel like it's something that you can't shake. 
um, because it keeps coming up, keeps coming up about that. I feel like your job, whatever you're doing now is secure, but I feel like you, I feel like you don't want to work at a job. You want a career. That's what this feels like. So, and I feel like because you want a career, because you want to go in that direction, you are having a really hard time settling is uh, what I want to say. So you're, you don't want to settle like you have in the past and you want to feel like you're making a difference wherever you work, like regardless of what the job title is, you want to feel devoted. You want to feel like you're making a difference. And right now something's tugging at your heart, telling you change needs to happen. And that is what I would say to you. Hold on. Oh, Stephanie. Yes. She said yes. All right. So just, um, just a couple other little pieces of that. Uh, and I just want to say, I also think Stephanie, there is something kind of going on. Um, I don't know, like in your love life or something like that. Someone that you thought was going to like, I know you didn't ask about this, but I just talk all day long. Um, there's something about, um, there's some kind of transition going on with a, with someone that you thought was like the one or someone that you feel really attached to. It just seems like you might also be going through something there that you want to change and so I feel like the sense of urgency with the job is also because underlying is some kind of change that you're wanting to make, like in your love life or in your personal relationships, but you don't feel like you can make that change. So the one place you feel like you have control over is your job. But in the background is this other stuff that I feel like is kind of stressing you out a little bit. So hopefully that makes sense to you. I know it's not necessarily connected to work, but I definitely feel like it might be under the surface of why you might be like so pushing in the direction of, I got to change my career. Like you've got to make something work the way you want and something that you're fully attached to. So hopefully that also makes sense um, to you as well. Um, and just whatever feedback, um, what did she say? Oh, she said, oh my God, yes. Okay. But I don't think that's about the last part that I talked about. That's something different. I just feel like it's just a little side note to understand the underlying motivation of why you feel like you might have to do this right now. And so, oh, thank you. She said, wow, I'm amazing. Not enough people tell me that in person, in my personal <laughs> life. Hey, only clients tell me that. My kids don't say that. Nobody says, mom, you're amazing. They say, mom you drive like shit. And my friends say the same thing because they're rude. Like you too. You know who I'm referring to. All right. What are we doing now? Um, all right. So I just, wait, I just want to know, will I be wealthy? Um, I think that what you will be is your needs and some of your wants will be met. I don't know what wealthy means to you versus me. So I don't know that I can answer that like that, but there will be an abundance of financial freedom. Um, but I also feel like, you know, when you have more financial freedom, you also end up with more bills because you're like, oh, well, I have this extra money. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to add on to this. So whatever it is, you'll get to a point where you feel like you have what you need and what you want. But I don't know that I'm talking about like millionaire or whatever, but I definitely feel like there's something here about um, feeling like all your needs are met and then some. That's what I would say to that. All right. Who are we going to do a reading for all of, like the three of us? Who, who are we going to harass? I am not picking that. <laughs> Sarah Well. Sarah all right. Well. Let me look at let me look in the comments. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, I, that's just great. Christina King, I want a threesome on love. All right, girl. I think All right. you answered your own question, my dear. That's what she wants. All right. So, you know, problem solved. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who is it again? Uh, I think it? Christy King, right? Christy King, Christy King. Christy. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, Christy Marie, Christine Marie? No. No, Christy, hold on. Christy King. Christina King. She, says, she, she just said, Christina hey, King. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Let's do the love. Let's do the love for Christina. All right, who wants to go first? Not me, but I think this might slightly go off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> Christina, do you have a subject or do you just want us to go? Love. She said love. love. Okay. Mm -hmm. I already said what's love got to do with it, y'all. It mm. has a lot to do first. Who's going first? Jen? I will. I will. You will? Okay. Yep. Ooh. Okay. 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 I'm not worried about you in love. Okay. So we're going to start off with the seven of pentacles. You see how that bird's sitting on all the money up there? And that money is the one that's growing. This is a card of, it's not my favorite. I'll just tell you that straight up. It's kind of like divine timing. We've got to wait. So love is coming. Um, but there's some growth that has to happen before the love comes in. It might be some of your own personal growth. It might be growth on the part of the person that's going to be coming in. Um, I do feel like this is a new person. I do feel like this is someone that has not been on the scene before. And then next to that, I've got the world. So that's a, an amazing fucking card. It, it talks about right now, you've got the world in your hands. You, it's time to close the old chapter and move forward with that world in your hand. So my advice to you with these two cards would be there has to be some patience involved. I am feeling pulled to like the fall. I want to say early fall though, because I want, I just keep seeing nine, 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 September, September. So I feel like that is when this person comes in to your life, but I don't think that that's necessarily when it takes off and gets serious. Um, but with the world, you really just want to focus on your successes and moving forward and starting this new chapter. And I believe that just in doing that, just in moving on from where, whatever point you're at now will allow things to start in motion and this person will come towards you. But again, I keep getting this feeling of there's work to be done before this person can come on the scene for you. Um, I'm not entirely sure it's not work that both of you don't need to do, but there's just work that needs to be done. And I'm pulled to September. So Sarah, what do you have to say? I actually want to build upon that because I concur. Uh, Miss Ma'am, you got a major arcana card. I actually pulled a couple cards here. You got a major arcana card talking about major change, major evolution, major moving forward. Miss Ma'am, you got the devil. Let's talk about it real quick. <laughs> All right. So there's some kind of, listen, the devil shows up whenever we are tied to people, places, and spaces that maybe is not the best for us. A lot of times too, the devil can show up uh, just kind of saying like, maybe this is like the devil we know, okay? We keep returning back to a place and space that is like, it's not good. It's taking from us. It's not giving anything back. There's no reciprocity, okay? I think what's interesting is that after that, I pulled the hanged man. Okay. And then I pulled the two of cups. So I want to say here in terms of love, girl, if you're looking for a brand new player to come in, we've got to cut cords of attachment to who we are currently in partnership with and the cycle of our life here in terms of relationships. Also, too, I want to build off of what Jen said, whatever came up here, maybe this is also we're noticing those cycles. OK, or we're noticing that, like, I keep getting sucked back into the same old thing or are we noticing that, like, I seem to be attracted to the same type of person over and over again. Are we ready to sit down and face ourselves around the root core here? Maybe there's a call back to childhood. Maybe I want to say here with the devil and the hanged man, maybe there's a root core back here to father and father healing. Is there something on repeat? Sweet, beautiful, kind, intelligent, powerful fucking woman is what I want to say to you. You fucking deserve better. Can we see the cycles that are going on here that are no longer working for us? And so if we want real true love, what is the work that we're willing to put into this? Like, in and of ourselves. You can't change another person. You can't make another person do shit or anything. But if you can identify your own cycles, what you're attracted to with the root core here, maybe back to childhood, possibly hear father. Maybe we can uproot this, face this, and recognize that we deserve more. We deserve better. And girl, with the two of cups, fucking listen to me. If you've got a hope and a wish in your heart that to be in partnership is what the fuck you want, guess what the fuck you're supposed to be in? 
Okay. So this is not a crazy wish that you have. This is something really important that you feel drawn towards. I want you to trust that. But also too, what is real love? Did we actually see that growing up? Did we see healthy, happy relationships? Are we stuck in the same old cycle? So, so we got we need a wake up call here. And I actually want to say to you, maybe, maybe when we're ready to get a different perspective and quit dragging our feet on letting somebody go, we give ourselves the chance to heal here and to show up for the relationship that actually can show up and be reciprocal and available to us too. I hope that was okay to say, maybe time frames that we're looking at. With the devil, it stands for the number 15. Uh, the hanged man stands for the number 12. Uh, and the two of cups stands for the number two. So I wanna say, look for these themes maybe to come up. Maybe there was a call back to February. Maybe there's a call here, uh, maybe to the month of May with the hanged man and with the devil, I wanna say maybe a call here to July. So maybe make sure this year, I would say maybe this year is about cleansing and clearing out. And then by February of 2025, maybe between September and February, uh, we've got this person coming back in or maybe around the second of a month. But get boot scoot on the perspective and the work because yes. madam, you are not seeing your full potential. You're amazing. Quit settling for fuck face McGee's. I hope that's okay to say. <laughs> also too, just to add on to that, it's like the whole feeling of it is, you this this two of cups is waiting in the wings for you it is fucking yeah. there it's there all you have to do is put in the work close the chapter to the old mm -hmm. fucking shit and open the door to new christina okay. and then there's gonna be jason momoa or somebody i don't know <laughs> shit no. it's, it's put in the work and then and then this this is waiting for you this is waiting for you we just got to break those cycles. That's all, girl. Yes. Like, literally, I think maybe you're way better off than you give yourself credit for. Like, all we just need a different perspective. Get in there. Take care of yourself. You motherfucking got this. And you deserve to be loved in the way that you love. You hear me? I have some cards. Mm. Um, I pulled Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Moon. And so... I, what I would add, I would just add on top of this is that I feel like that you might be, um, you might, you might've had a, like a lot of bad experiences or seen a lot of experiences or something like that. There's also like some issues here with like how you feel about yourself, your own internal challenges to self-esteem and all that kind of stuff. So you've got kind of a lot of stuff maybe going on under the surface of you. It's like, it looks like if I was to look at your energy from the outside, it looks placid, but I feel like underneath that is a little bit of turmoil. And some of that turmoil is connected with like, what do I deserve? Like, or, and not just that, but also is, well, maybe this is the one because I haven't found anyone yet. Or maybe this, like trying to make a square peg fit into a round hole um, with some of the people that maybe you've dated or spent time with or something like that. Like, I feel like you can talk yourself into anyone. And I just feel like that might be something to be wary of about yourself. That if you feel like, maybe because I feel like this has happened in the past, like if at some point you start um, at, like making excuses for someone else and their behavior. So like, oh, well, they never text me back. It goes on, oh, they're just busy at work, but there's days when they want your attention and they have no problems texting you. And so it's like mm. understanding that you deserve what you want, that there is like, believing in the fact that there is someone out there who has the qualities that you want and that you're not asking for too much. And that is like an important thing for you to understand because I just feel like sometimes you settle on clowns and that's okay. I've had many clowns. Um, I, you know, like I have my own relationship clown car as a matter of fact. Uh, and so <laughs> it's like, I do. And it's not even a little car. It's a big one. Uh, but there's just something here about like you believing that it can happen for you and that it can happen the way that you want it to happen and that you do not have to settle um, because I just feel like that's come up for you in the past. I also think that you have people in your life that are um, very close to you, like feel like family. 
um, that you have people to talk to about this kind of stuff. I also feel like if, you know, the people in your life are kind of like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. And as long as you feel like that's the right path, then follow that path. But if you're kind of on the fence and everyone's like, wow, that person treats you like shit, or they're this, or they're that, just maybe you don't have to listen by honoring it or listening to where that's coming from. Because I just, I don't know if it's friends or family or whatever, but they've had several opinions about your relationships. And you know, sometimes opinions are awesome and they might add value and other times they suck. So you got to go with like what feels right to you. Um, the other thing is, I think there is a small area of your life um, where you're focused on like, like your home, your finances, your job, your whatever, all those worldly little things. And I feel like Sometimes the relationship stuff, you have all these other little things to deal with. And sometimes the worrying about relationship becomes a distraction and makes it so you're not necessarily getting everything you want to complete it. And if you did that, then you would feel better about everything, including your own self. And so I just want to say, make sure that if some of the people you've reached out to or look or like constantly checking a dating site or something like that, just make sure it's not distracting you from getting on a path um, that brings you to your very best kind of life. So hopefully that resonates with you. Um, it's, uh, I agree with Sarah and Jen that that is coming. So love is coming. You just got to believe that you can find what you want and that you don't have to settle. So I just, I just want to say that, but yeah. that was, I, I think it's interesting. We all have these different perspectives and yet we all essentially kind of said the same thing, you but all in a different way with different. Yeah. I like that. I like our reading style, ladies. I, I, do too. I, I just do. like our style. I know right? that too, that too, but I just like the way that we do it all together. So um, let me see here. Me next. You guys want to attack another person? What are you feeling? Yes. I feel like we should. I feel like we should involve another person because the first thing they talked about was a threesome, somebody in the thing. So who was that? Who was the one who said they wanted a threesome of reading? Is that the one you read, Jen? I feel like that was maybe the person I did. I don't remember. No. I don't remember. Did I pick it? Was it Chrissy that said she wanted the threesome of love? <laughs> yes. No, I don't know. I think it was whoever Jen read. And I think that yeah, it was Chris. Chosen. It was Christina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is about as threesome as it gets. Okay. Yeah. So, so who are we going to harass? Um, and um, who are we gonna harass? So whoever Chris Myers is, they're saying me, me, me. And I think that's the perfect way to bring people to your attention. Uh three me's. So, um, Michelle, wait, who the fuck was that? Shit. I lost it. Whoever I said, that's who I'm Chris next. Meyer. Chris, Chris Meyer. Chris Meyer. Um, and I don't know if it's the lady Chris or dude Chris, but it's Chris Meyer. Come on down. <laughs> um, and so Chris Meyer, I see you at 7.02 PM. Um, give us a topic you want us to look at, or we could just pull cards for you and all have a different perspective on different things going on in your life. So whatever you, it's a girl, Chris, y'all. It's a girl. It's a girl, Chris. It's a girl, Chris. So um, whatever you want to talk about, or we can just do kind of like a life reading with three different perspectives. Christina so. just said it was the best and only threesome she's ever had. <laughs> Christina. You're welcome. That's what I'm saying. You're welcome. Well, she's been a part of that. Yeah. <laughs> I know Jen's glad to be a part of it. I won't talk about any other threesomes. That's the only one I'm talking about today. <laughs> today. Um, today. today. <laughs> Chris wants right. life reading. All right. Who's going first? Who's going last? Uh, I can go first. Okay. I, I haven't gone first yet. So I'm waiting till the end. So, oh, look, she trusts us. That's what she said. <laughs> She voluntarily said that you guys, nobody paid her or sent her coins. <laughs> what they do on TikTok. That's Fair nobody enough. sent her coins. She just loves us for us. Okay. So life reading. Let's see what I'm getting here. All right. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. Right, I got some interesting cards too. Yeah. This is, so I got the world. Um, I got the two of wands. I got the six of pentacles and I got the 10 of swords. So let me tell you what I think that means. Um, I feel like you have gotten to a point or recently may have gotten to a point where you're feeling really overwhelmed with a lot of the stuff that's been happening in your life. Whether it's all actively happening now or not, that's not important. What's happening though is under the surface, it's affecting you and causing you to kind of contemplate where you're at, some of your decisions, all that kind of stuff, all the good stuff we do when we have to, you know, get to that point where we're soul searching. So I feel like there's a little soul searching going on and you're contemplating what your next move is. I also feel like there's people in your life who you're not saying no enough. Um, I, I just, I feel like maybe there's people kind of pulling at you, asking you for things, and it might be hard for you to say no. I know it's hard for me to say no, um, but it's just kind of one of those things where you're working on that, working on trying to figure out what that looks like, but also kind of working on like, is this a relationship that I want to continue in this direction? Do I want to change it? And I'm talking across the board, talking work, friends, family, relationships, kids, all that stuff. Like this is a review and reflect time for you. But as you're in this time, you're starting to see the places where you enable or where people enable you or you enable them. Like you're starting to see things a lot more clearly and you're starting to realize that your time has value. Um, and that sometimes saying no is what you need to do. But I feel like sometimes what happens is that gives you this guilty feeling that you're not helping or you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I just feel like with that being said, um, that right now it's all about boundaries and keeping the boundaries, not like just putting them in the sand, but like build up a little wall so people at least trip over it before they cross them. And so it's like, that's my logic. So. Um, I, I just feel that. And then lastly, what I would say is that I feel like right now you feel like almost like some kind of um, uh, like burden. You feel burdened by this whole experience of um, reviewing your li like life path and all of that. But even though it feels like a burden now, once you start releasing things and releasing those people in your life that just don't need to be there anymore, it won't feel so heavy and it won't feel so overwhelming. And that's the thing that you're mainly trying to get away from is feeling overwhelmed. So that is what I would say to you. And then whichever one of you beautiful bitches wants to go next can. Sarah, do you want me to go next? It doesn't matter. Do you want me to go? I'm good either way. You pick. Oh my God. Don't make okay. me pick. Okay. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. <laughs> All right, Chris, I got some interesting cards for you, babe. Um, I got for you the King of Coins, and then I got the Nine of Swords, and then I've got the Ace of Motherfucking Wands. So this says to me a couple different things here. I agree with like the mental overload, like this is too much going on. I think that's wild that Kim got the Ten of Swords. <laughs> like it's it really is fucking with you mentally, and so we're having a hard time right now, maybe uh, deciphering, figuring out, uh, getting clarity, maybe even focusing on what's important for us right now. Now, girl, I want to tell you though, with the King of Coins and the Ace of Wands, some this has either been on your mind. <laughs> Okay, or this has been on somebody else's mind and they're coming towards you, but it feels like, and listen, this could be, I, I'm not sure the relationship here yet, but with the king of coins, it can either talk about traditionally for me, like a father figure here showing up. So maybe we're having to deal with our father here. Maybe he's having some difficult health issues. We got to figure out how to put that into everything that we're working with here or girl, this is more around like love and relationships. There's somebody here that's been on your mind that you can't seem to get off your fucking mind with the King of coins here. I'm looking at like a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Uh, so earth or maybe heavy earth placements here within the chart. Girl with the Ace of Wands, look at that. That's literally holding a fucking torch. Somebody has been holding a torch for you. You're holding a torch for somebody else. It just feels like with the nine of swords here, like this has been weighing heavy on my mind. I can't seem to get sleep. I can't, <laughs> can't seem to think about anything else. So on top of everything else going on, 
and maybe trying to get rid of like the difficult people like Kim was saying, make sure that we've got good people surrounding us. There's also somebody here on my mind, I can't seem to get out of there. So either, again, this is around a father figure and we're trying to figure out how best we can help him and support him on top of everything else that we're going through, or this could possibly be talking about a love relationship here uh, that I've been holding a torch for somebody and somebody might be holding a torch here for me. Girl, I would just say to you with the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Wands here, I think maybe it's time to speak up and say something. I mean, honestly, just like Kim was saying, get up and speak. Talk about what the fuck is going on. There's some action that needs to be taken here with the Ace of Wands. So we need a new beginning. We need new action. Maybe not doing what we've always done before. So again, if this is around like a love relationship, uh, maybe not doing the same old cycle we've been doing before. We can't do that. And mentally, fuck with me. We need brand new energy in here. Or again, if this is health and around father and father healing, uh, maybe here we need to take new action because maybe he's unable to do that for himself. So instead of everybody freaking out, no matter what the fuck this is about, <laughs> let's stand up and say something about it. Let's take action on this thing. No more sitting down, no more letting it weigh heavy on us or hurt us or bring us down to a space where we can't seem to just like the depression. Do you know what I'm saying? Especially with the nine of fucking swords. Like, girl, this is this is a no joke card. This is really fucking difficult. So don't be afraid to sit down and face yourself mentally where we are. Especially if you're up until like 3 a.m. thinking about this person or thinking about the situation. Sit down and face yourself. Take some action here. What do we need to say? What do we need to do in order to, again, either take care of this important father figure or sit down and maybe have an important conversation with this person we can't seem to get off our mind? The last thing I want to say about this is, I should have said this beforehand, this could also possibly talk about work. With the king of coins here, this could even talk about a boss, okay? So maybe here too, if we're looking for a new job, whatever the fuck is coming up here, um, stop letting the fear and worry be what the fuck guides you here. Focus on what you do want, madam. Because if we keep letting fear and worry or the safety and security aspect keep leading us down, we're going to keep going down alleys and back ways. We don't want to fucking be down. If you're focused here upon this new action, what I'm passionate about, what the fuck makes my heart sing, what makes my booty pop, <laughs> okay? What gets me fucking moving in the morning? And we focus our energy into that. We say yes to that thread. Like, girl, you're going to start going down people, places, and spaces that actually align with what it is the fuck that you do want. So no more letting fear and worry guide us here. Focus on what you do want. What's the new fresh energy I got to bring in? And am I ready maybe also to finally to invest in myself, invest in my life, invest in my future? What the fuck is most important here? No matter what, take action, say what the fuck you mean and mean what the fuck you say and take this maybe small but guided action towards what the fuck is singing to your heart, okay? I hope that was all right. I think it was all right. Thanks. So interestingly, I think it was fantastic, but interestingly enough, mm -hmm. um, my cards that I pulled started with the Ace of Wands <laughs> and then the Chariot and then the Ten of Pentacles. So actually, these cards are kind of similar to what Zara just was talking about. We, the Ace of Wands is a really empowered card, but you can only be empowered if you feel empowered and you allow yourself to be empowered. It is about grabbing that torch. And with the Ace of Wands here right next to the chariot, the chariot is inspired action forward. It's This is begging you to move forward. So if there's something that's been holding you back from moving forward towards, and I with this Ten of Pentacles, I'm going to say goals. Um, I'm going to say stability. I'm going to say financial stability. And maybe even stability within your family unit. And sometimes your family is not always blood. Um, so this could be like stability between who you consider family or what have you. But also the Ace of Wands, that has like a, it has like a leadership quality to it as well. So it feels like that you could be inspiring others and empowering others by making that move forward and heading towards your dreams and goals and carving out that legacy for yourself. So in my opinion, I just feel like these cards are really urging you to stop holding back who Chris is and allowing just 
that that empowerment and that and that inspired action and that movement forward don't be afraid to move forward because you're moving into stability you're moving into something that that leaves family legacy or that brings family closer um but it is a stable place that you're heading and i think that maybe you haven't always felt so stable in the past um and but now it's different it's different is what it feels like it is it's time to move forward so that is what I am feeling for Chris. Uh, as I, and it looks like I didn't and, see the feedback. I need to change my glasses. Yeah, that's I know. That's why I had to like. I had my fucking bifocals on, then I put my readers on, and now I can't see shit. <laughs> but um, for you guys out there watching us, we're about done right now. But I want to tell you. This tarot class that we're teaching, it's the three of us together. So essentially, um, it's on my website. Stephanie put the link in the thing. But basically, you'll be spending a lot of time with the three of us. Um, you'll at least be entertained um, and walk away knowing how to read the entire tarot deck. Um, and it is over four Sundays in April. Um, it's an awesome deal. You get all three of us working with you. Um, and so if you're interested, um, the link is in the comments and it's also on my Facebook page, Jen's page, Sarah's page, anywhere you go, whoever, you know, you can go sign up for it. Um, the price is three thirty three. dollars It's four classes. It's six, six. God, that's like, you get like 20 hours of us. And, and <laughs> so that's, a, that's, that's a, a lot of us, you know, <laughs> that's a lot of us, but that's why we did this so that you guys knew what it was like having the three of us together. Um, so if you guys are interested, it's on there. There's a payment arrangement. It does have to be paid before you start the class, but that's available. Um, if you decide to take the class, we also send you the information so that you can create your own book. Uh, the recommended deck, um, is the writer weight or the universal weight tarot deck. Um, but we have a limited amount of spots in this class um, and we do have lots of helpers. So you're not going to walk away going like, I don't know any of this. Um, you should walk away with a pretty firm knowledge of the deck of 78 cards. Um, so if you want to sign up, sign up. Um, we would love to have you there. Um, I We are all about it. Um, I don't know if you noticed that about us, but we're all friendly and we love all you bitches. So um, if you, that's the nice way. We're a bunch of badasses looking for badasses to be in our class. Um, so uh, sign up soon. We'll get the information to you. So you have time to order on Amazon or whatever. Um, my daughter, Stephanie, will get back to you. Um, you can just go in and sign up or you can send any one of us an email uh, and we'll have Stephanie handle it. Um, but uh, yeah, and my email is readingsbykim at yahoo.com. What's yours, Jen? Um, can I write it? I don't want to say it. Yeah, put it in that. Yeah, because it's probably slutty. Put it in the <laughs> bottom. <laughs> it's not the only way I like it. That is, <laughs> just put it in the comments, your email. Mine is like my website, readingsbykim at yahoo.com. And Tooch's, what's yours? It's Sarah the Medium at Gmail. And it's Sarah with me. Yeah, Sarah with an H. I can put it in chat too. Oh, yeah. And Stephanie put mine in there somewhere along the way. Um, we love every single one of you for tuning in to us and watching us yap away. Um, one day it will be a podcast, but for now it's just a tarot class. And then we're going to do a live of talking to dead people and doing readings as well at some point in the near future. I decided, and I'm just dragging them in. So, because I'm a bossy bitch like that. Um, but anyway, Sarah, Jen, what would you like to say as we end our shenanigans? Did you want me to go? For, okay. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank you That's pretty much what I wanted to say. Thank you for giving us your time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you for giving us your time. Thank you guys. Uh, honestly, just thank you guys for the love. Thank you guys for the honor for to read for you. And thank you most importantly for trusting us because that's a massive part, right? Of what we do. So thank you guys for coming in and trusting us with your problems, with your bullshit, with your people and spirit, whatever the fuck you come to us for. Just thank you from my heart and my soul. And I hope to see you guys in class and get ready to be fucking cussed at. <laughs> All right. We're going to learn some shit and have a good time because I ain't doing this unless I'm having a good time, right? So I promise you guys a good time will be had. We're going to talk shit. Eat donuts 
and just learn the fucking tarot, doing the things I love to do. So thank you guys for tonight, for showing up, for being here. I love you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Is that it, Jen? It's just a kiss. Wow. Y'all get 45 <laughs> kisses. <laughs> All right. Do you have anything else to say, Jen, besides thank um, you? That I love you guys. And I'm so glad that everybody came out. And um, I look forward to everybody that comes to the class. And I look forward to eventually doing this podcast and getting all that going. And I just appreciate the support. I love that so many people came out to support and be here and allow us to work our magic because we fucking, we can do it without y'all, but it ain't as fun. How about that? Straight so. up. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad to be here and I love everybody. Yes, well, there's you. one person I don't love, but I won't talk about that. I'm right here, Jen. <laughs> oh my God. Like, way to just bring it up passive aggressively. <laughs> Turn to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Um, I think this might be, I think the link, may lead to the video so if you watched it or know anyone who you want to watch it i think it will be pre like recorded so you guys mm -hmm. can watch it again but mm -hmm. thank you so much you guys and bye. i hope you have a wonderful night bye, yeah, bye. bye. bye.